up Nani Gang, it's your girl Nani. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. You guys are officially watching Vlogmas Weekend 1. During this weekend, you guys are just gonna be coming with me, vlogging, doing things that I'm doing. I moved into a new apartment, uh, I got a new car, I got my first YouTube paycheck. <laughs> A lot has been going on. I kind of want you guys to get inside of my life. I moved into a new place. Space is very beautiful, very spacious. Ari now has her very own room. I really pray to find a place that I can call my home again for another couple years. I wanted to do an empty apartment tour for you guys, but when we did move, we had a lot going on. We had birthday parties. Um, we had moving, we had to move in a certain amount of days, like it was just chaotic. So we moved by ourselves. It was me, Chris, and my dad, three of us. We moved all by ourselves. Plus, we had Kyrie with us, which was another story. Tips I would give you guys for apartment hunting. If you are looking to move, I would definitely hop on the waiting list as soon as possible because those waiting lists can range from a year to two years. Like there was one apartment I applied for and they said I was on a waiting list, but their waiting list was like for three years. So I was like, what the heck? But then there was other apartments who said the waiting list was less than a month. So it just really all depends. Another thing is a lot of apartments now are income based. And I never really realized that until Again. I started to apply for apartments. Also, you always want to go see the apartment in person rather than in pictures because pictures can be a whole nother story on what it actually looks like in person. But yeah, let's get into what the apartment looks like. You can see she has her bed her toys. It's a mess because she's a kid and she never cleans her room. So yeah, her bike, her clothes. A lot of her clothes I've moved down because I want to get her to be more independent with dressing herself. All her little shoes. So this is Kyrie's little space. She has one shoe on. It's not even on the right foot. This is the bathroom. Like I said, it's nothing too fancy, but it is very good for what I got. And I'm happy about it. So yeah, that's the bathroom. I tried to hang up like some Christmas decorations. I didn't put too much up because I don't know where to start. I never really did Christmas decorations except in my mom's house. So I just put some lights up here. Um, I got the Christmas tree right here. As you guys can see, my Christmas topper, it says Santa stop here. I got that from Target. By the way, I don't recommend going to Target for any Christmas decorations because that ran my pocket to about a hundred and some dollars. So yeah. Plus this tree skirt. And you know, it's a pretty nice tree skirt. I like the tree skirt, but a hundred plus dollars, absolutely not. So yeah, this is our Christmas tree. As you can see, we got the princesses on here, Elsa, Anna. We got some mini princesses that Kyrie picked up, but she probably stole them all. We got a little Ariel. I don't know if you guys can see, I don't know if it'll focus, but that's Ariel. In due time, we will like redecorate the house, refurnish the house and stuff like that, but not right now. So anyway, this is my closet. As you can see, my shoe boxes are up here. These are all my clothes. And then down here, some shoes. More clothes than that. Little dresser thingy, suitcase. And then I got just some more shoes, my Crocs, all that. Here is a mirror I have in here. I wanna get a bigger one. You guys can like see me in it, but I wanna get a bigger one. Um, I wanted one from Walmart, it was $60, but it was too big to fit my car with everyone I had in there, so I couldn't get it. But yeah, here's me, in my mirror, in my room, yes. And then here's just the bed. This is my jacket I'm putting on today, but yeah, here's the bed. I super love it, super, super love it. Right now we're gonna get into the topic of my first YouTube Oh, excuse me, my first YouTube page. I have my handy dandy MacBook. You guys all know about this MacBook. Now we're just gonna get into the analytics of me getting paid on YouTube for the first time. I have been monetized on YouTube for about a year, I think, like the beginning of this year I got monetized. So 2021 was my first year of monetization on YouTube. With monetization, I had to have a thousand subscribers and I think like 4,000 watch hours or something along those lines. You don't get your first YouTube paycheck until your payout reaches $100. They took my bank information, they took my tax information. All I had to do was basically wait until I got a notification from my banking app that I was paid. The process of it is you get something in the mail so they know that that's your correct address and they know that this is really you and it's basically not a bot or a scam or anything like that. It has a piece of paper but I don't know where I put mine but it is a piece of paper that they give you. It says Google AdSense on it and all that good stuff. 
My most viewed videos video got taken down, unfortunately. My most viewed video now has 13,000 views, so that's still good. Let me just say a couple things about how I feel now that I make money. One, I'm super happy. Like, I'm glad I can honestly make money sitting in front of a camera doing not too much. And yeah. The second thing is, I want you guys to remember, once you start to make that revenue, I don't want you guys to get less motivated because I feel like that's what I did. I felt like me getting that first check, it was like, ooh, I did it and now I don't have to work as hard. Which is not true because once you work hard to do something, you have to continue to work as hard as you did to continue to get what the results you wanted, if that makes sense. If you wanna grow, you have to keep doing what you've been doing. Another thing is you do get paid once a month. You do get a payout to the bank of your choice, like whichever bank you have. I'm not gonna tell you guys the official amount that I did get paid just because I don't wanna get too personal, but I can say it was a very decent amount. Starting from literally 100 subscribers and now looking at my like channel analytics, I have 3,358 and I just gained seven new followers in the past seven days and I haven't been on YouTube a month, so. That kind of tells you something. Also, I want to get into promotions. So, I do have a few promotions that I that I was been supposed to do. My uncle's brand. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it, but he did give me some clothes over the summer. And he asked me to promote them on my channel because you guys know I usually do like clothing hauls and all that stuff. But since it's not summer no more, I can't really put them on and promote them just because they're shorts and like t-shirt sets. I he has an Instagram and he basically has a brand that he works on. I want you guys to go check him out, give him a follow, like hit him up because guys, his clothes are very well. The fabric is very well. Everything is very well put together. He makes hats, shorts, shirts, sweaters, t-shirts, tank tops, everything. I think he has like uh, sweatsuits, like it's all there. So I want you guys to go and check him out. He's my Uncle G. I definitely want you guys to go give him a follow on Instagram and let him know I sent you. As far as other promotions, guys, I am open for new promotions. Like I said, I haven't been on in a while, but my email will be in the description box below. So right now I'm going to show you guys what the car like entails. So this is um, a 2022 Hyundai Elantra. If you guys didn't know, I purchased my first car this year as well. It was a 2018 Elantra. Now I had that car since February, but then I got this one. I was really in love with that one. I don't. I never showed you guys that one, like on the inside. I never like did a car tour or anything. Just because when I bought it, I just wanted to soak in that I really bought my first car. So right now, I'm just gonna give you guys some quick details about the car. So. This is what like the interior looks like. This is the wheel as you guys can see I got it blinged out already and then this is my blink steering wheel. It is push to start so My push starts under here. It's hidden under this little thing right here I got this off Amazon by the way and then this is my um, Music dash thing it has wireless Apple CarPlay and my old car I used to have to hook it up to like a cord like this like my charging cord, but this car I don't and it actually has a wireless charging pad too so if I set my phone down here it will automatically charge so this is a wireless charging pad which I really really love so I don't have to hook my phone up to here I can just throw my phone down here and it is I don't know if it's gonna focus but yeah it's charging and then this is my dash as you guys can see everything is digital so we got the gas down here i don't know what's good my camera on the focus in but we got the gas down here we got how many miles it has on it mind you it was brand new when i got it. i had it for about like a month now so yeah um then that's my miles and stuff like that and i can even change it so like 
these are all the things that are on it but this is my favorite because i can pick how i want it so it really changes and i think that's the coolest part about it but my favorite has been this one so this is the one i've been keeping it on so yeah this is the drive mode right here i have three different drive modes which can be sport it can be smart which is like gas saving and then it can be normal i usually keep it on smart just to save on gas and then this right here is my emergency brake um this is to hold like if i don't want to press like the brake i can put this on and it breaks for me like if i'm gonna drive through or something and then this is my rear view camera thing this is what it looks like without apple carplay on it i normally always keep it on apple carplay but as you can see it has the time the day and then all this gadget and gadgets and stuff like that but yeah i usually keep it on apple carplay which is my normal thing and then yeah all that good stuff the only thing about this car that i think is really weird is the handles to open the car are down here which i'm not really used to yet but i know i gotta get used to and then this thing actually does absolutely nothing so i don't know why it's there and then you know behind every bad bitch is a car seat so we got miss mila's car seat back there and yeah i can control my car from my phone i can start my car from my phone i can lock my car from my phone i can unlock it i can press horns i can do all that stuff so yeah that's what my car looks like on the outside of it um like i said it's a honda elantra his name is capri and this this is him it's 41 degrees outside don't feel like it but yeah i don't know i just don't like the process of buying a car i feel like it's too much it's just not Mm, I don't know. I just don't really like agree with it. So I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much my car. I want to decorate the inside of it, but I don't know too many decoration ideas I can do because the interior is gray and the exterior is a royal blue. So I want to do something that match. These are what my keys look like. This is my little doggy I got from Amazon. It actually came with the key fob cover thing I got. Let me see if it will. So yeah, this is my little doggy. And then this is my keys. As you can see, got glitter on them. But yeah, this is the key. It's a, it has a remote start already like included in it, which I'm happy about because in the winter, it'd be mad hectic. But yeah, it's lock, unlock, remote start, open the trunk, and then the horn. But yeah, that's pretty much it about the car. I really do love it. I'm happy about it. I up, definitely upgraded from my old car. I won't be getting a new car for a while because like I said, this is a 2022 and we still in 2021. That's pretty much it. I don't know. I don't think I have anything else going on for the rest of the day. Really, I just had to go make sure I did my car. Um, but like I said, it's only 1.30, so I still got the whole day to figure out something to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. But yeah, so that's that. And yeah. <laughs>